Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some different websites where you can get paid $50 or so for every task that you complete. We're gonna cover a lot of different types of websites, a lot of different types of tasks. So hopefully you'll be able to find at least a few in here that really pique your interest. So one website you can get paid around $50 a pop is at Envato Tuts Plus, which is at tutsplus.com. They have different types of places where you can basically submit tutorials. And one of them is to submit a music tutorial, which is at music.tutsplus.com. You write a quick tip and you can make $50 for each one that you get submitted here. And this is a website where they're known for letting people submit more than one on a regular basis, like a monthly basis in many cases. So for this one, basically you can do quick tips and make $50 and basically it's a mini tutorial of around 500 words or a screencast of under five minutes in length in general it would only cover one main point or technique. If you're new to screencasts, you might like to check out the screener, which is perfect for quick tips since it only allows for a video less than five minutes in length and is easy to get started with. So basically you submit a tutorial, they have a write for us page that you can also write for a lot of other things, but um, like different types of coding tutorials and stuff like that. But I usually save that for the higher paying uh, website videos because those typically pay, you know, multiple times what this one does. But if you are someone who knows a lot about music or have an audio background or experience, you can contribute here and get paid for it. Next, you have a website called We Go Look. For every job that you complete here, you can get paid an estimated $15 to $200 per job, depending on what you do, and get paid via direct deposit or PayPal to basically go and inspect something or assess something or something along those lines. So a looker is typically what they are known for having. This is like the job a lot of people would think of when it comes to this website. But they also have added a few others as well. The thing about it is if you do some of these others like an inspection services roof inspector or an interior exterior inspector or looker notary, these are gonna require a little bit more in terms of qualifications. But this one is more something that just about anybody can do. You perform basic inspections that involve photo, video, and data capture. So you would use their app and basically take photos of like, as you can see, like a wrecked car or something that has to do with maybe the inspection of something or maybe somebody wants to buy a vehicle in another state and they wanna hire a looker in that state to go and look at it first and, and assess whether or not it's actually worth the price. There's a lot of different ways that this could apply, but services usually include automotive, motorcycle, RV, heavy equipment, notice delivery, product recall and more so it's usually some sort of inspection type of thing and then you would use the app to actually do it so you can see right here it's actually a pretty highly rated app and they have a few screenshots here you can go through they've had a hundred thousand plus downloads on Android alone they also have an Apple version of this as well but for instance they'll have a vehicle inspection or something like that they might have something that's like a home inspection or or you might have a few other things like a scene inspection, you have commercial property inspection, heavy equipment inspection are some of the examples. And mostly what you're doing is taking pictures. As far as what's like to work here, most people rate it very highly at 4.3 out of five stars and 87% recommend working here to a friend. Next, you have a company called User Interviews. User Interviews is known as one of the better websites to find focus groups and surveys that you can take that are actually really high paying. Most survey sites are probably not even worth your time because they'll pay you like maybe a few cents to a dollar or two per survey. And many of them don't even have that many surveys for you to take. But if you go to user interviews, you can actually, if you're located in the US, you can go to browse online studies and then you can look at what they have available. Now, if you look at their trust pilot score, it's actually pretty solid. And if you're looking at, you know, just something like this and you want to know the reviews, I recommend looking them up on trust pilot. But as far as how to do this at home, you can do this over the phone or online. If you want to do it in person or based on your location, you're okay with that, you can do in person as well and have the full range. But if you are mostly wanting to do it at home, for instance, you have a few different examples of like $75 for 45 minutes of your time. So they're looking for developers who built BFFs, back ends for front ends. And if you've ever done that, you can answer a few questions and get paid you know what $75 this one they have about an hour long thing for you to answer a few questions for $75 as well we want to hear your thoughts on some new products 
that they're building. So you would like click on the one that you're interested in. They'll tell you a little bit more in the description, what you're going to need in terms of device requirements and how you're going to get paid, which they do have lots of different dis, uh, basically gift cards that you can get paid as well. And it's just a very easy way to just make some extra money on the side. And you know, they have all sorts of different surveys on here. You have another one that says, do you have experience using agile and lean management tools? $60 for 45 minutes of your time. And so some of these will be very broad, like the general population can take part in them. And then some of these will be very specific to a, a certain thing that you do for a job or an occupation. But like for instance, want to be paid for your political opinions. This is something that's very broad. Pretty much the general population can answer these questions. $65 for an hour of your time. So that's a few different examples of what you can do with user interviews. And you get paid kind of a flat fee for each one that you complete. Next, we have a weird way that you can make money, which is at eSerrano. This is a website where you get paid to write dating profiles. So if you've ever had some pretty good experiences with dating profiles, whether it's for yourself or making one for others, you can get paid around $78 to $120 per profile to create profiles here at East Serrano. Now, also it has to do with whether they are hiring or not, but if you wanna just check this website every once in a while and check and see if they are hiring, you can look up jobs for e-serrano.com. Next, you have a website called User Testing. User Testing, I've covered many times in the past. You may have seen me um, mentioned them before, but they are a company where you get paid to test websites and apps. So this is something that doesn't really require any experience. You also get paid via PayPal. They used to tell you up front how much they paid or at least the full range of how much you got paid. They don't seem to do that anymore. They basically just tell you um, the, how much you get paid once you actually sign in, but it's very easy to apply. There's no interview, there's nothing like that. You just answer a few screening questions and then start taking tests. And these tests basically will either involve you, you know, maybe just giving some written feedback or actually talking your way through as you go through a website, you'll kind of verbally say like what you like and don't like about the website and then they'll have you record that and that'll be your test. So in the past, they would tell you that they pay e either $4 for a five minute test, $10 for a 20 minute test, and between 30 and $120 for a live interview test. So if you can get a live interview test here, you can get paid up to $120 per test or as little as $30. They also require you to be 18 years of age or older. This is also something you can do worldwide and it's something you can do where you get paid usually weekly within seven days via PayPal. Next, you have a company called WatchLab. This is very similar to user interviews where they have all sorts of different focus groups, surveys that you can take. You can go to watchlab.com and join the community or if you wanna see what they have available first before you do so, you can go to their Facebook page which is at facebook.com slash watchlab research. Here they will have their latest postings for all of their different types of focus groups that you can take part in. So for instance, this one, they're seeking female participants remote and in the West Palm Beach area for a paid market research study on entertainment. It's up to $150. They have another one that was just a couple days ago and they were basically looking for people in the Bay Area for a paid market research study on creatives. This is up to $400. So you just kind of go through here, you can go through their Facebook page, see what they have available, or you can sign into their website at watchlab.com and basically just go through their listings on a regular basis, see what they have, and you might make a few hex, few hundred extra dollars here and there um, by just taking part in these, by literally just answering a few questions. So there's another one where they're seeking participants for a paid remote market research study on ads and searches. This is up to $100, so they don't, say anything about location for this one. So if you're interested, you can just click on it and it'll take you to the form. And then basically it'll tell you like age, 18 plus, okay, that's most people, gender all, sessions available, what time of the month they're available, which these are still in the availability section. These haven't been concluded yet. They only take an hour for $100. And this is nationwide. So make sure you look at either nationwide or the ones that are near your major city that you live close to. And then again, you can sign up at watchlab.com. Next, you have a place where you can get paid to uh, be a book lover. So at Online Book Club, basically you can get paid up to $60 to review books. So this is at onlinebookclub.org. They will have all the requirements here on this page or on their website and you can just go 
through this. You can look at their different book reviews and see kind of what the format looks like, if this is something that you think you'd be interested in doing. So some more information about Online Book Club. Basically, I did find the actual submissions page and here you have five to sixty dollars per review. So you get paid to review these and it's going to be up to sixty dollars for each one as I showed you before. This is something basically that you just do if you're a book lover and they want you to be as honest as possible whether you actually loved or hated the book. Next we have Kirkus Reviews. Kirkus Reviews is another very similar site where you can actually get paid for book reviews. So you see that they do all sorts of book reviews in all sorts of genres of books as well. And this is a website that is known for paying about $50 for a 350 word book review. But you can see right here that they have so many different reviews on here that you can look through. And typically books will be assigned to you so you don't necessarily get to pick the books you're gonna review. And usually they are due within two weeks of you getting started. So as you can see right here, they kind of go over the details for their careers section. So it's a little bit confusing trying to find the submissions page or the application page for a reviewer on some of these websites, but I will have links to these all in the website for you or the show notes page if you go to the YouTube description for this. But it's a freelance project basis. You can work from anywhere and they do want you to be experienced at book reviews of English or Spanish language titles to review these uh, Kirkus Indie books. Um, the book review magazine section dedicated to self-published authors. So they're in the same format and held to the same high standards as other sections of Kirkus Reviews. So like I said, you wanna read through the other ones and see kind of what these look like. But as I mentioned, 350 words due two weeks after the book is signed, currently reviews nearly all genres for books of all links in digital hardcover and paperback format. And they tell you how to get started and who to um, submit your resume to and writing samples to at the company. Now another place you can do this is at Funds for Writers, which is $75 or around $25 if you do a reprint. So this is a place where you would actually submit content instead of reviewing content. So instead of reviewing books, this is a place where you would basically submit articles. Typically articles range from 550 to 650 words. And if you're going to do this, you can get paid again, usually $75 for unpublished original articles. So you've never published them before, or you can get $25 for reprints that are over 90 days old. You will also be paid via PayPal or Venmo typically for these types of articles. So they do have limitations. Basically you can submit from anywhere except these countries right here because these are the countries where PayPal is not accepted. But PayPal outside of these countries on this list are accepted pretty much anywhere in the world. They tell you right here basically what they're looking for is anything that has to do with making a career out of writing. So they're very specific about what they want. They're okay with very short articles, which is nice. Sometimes you have to write like a thousand plus words if you're gonna get paid um, any amount of money for a guest post like this. But if you know anything about making a career out of writing and actually getting paid to do that, that's kind of what they're looking for. Another one that's kind of similar is called writersweekly.com. Writers Weekly also has guidelines for if you want to submit posts and get paid for them. They typically pay around $60 for each one of these. They focus on the subject of selling the written word and seek articles that show people how to do just that. They do not publish things like ongoing columns or series by one writer. Please do not pitch any of those to them. Guest posts, poetry, cartoons or jokes, book reviews or any product or service reviews, profiles of companies, products or individuals or articles on how to write. Everyone already does this so they do not accept those. They also have a list of topics that they do not want pitches about. So as far as uh, what they are looking for in terms of length, they want around 600 words, rights first, non-exclusive or reprint rights, $60 US on acceptable via PayPal for first rights only, $30 if it's a reprint. And then basically they tell you how to submit by going to this contact form. Another kind of completely different way to make a little bit of extra money is with test.io. Now test.io is a place where you usually can pay, get paid up to $50 to test websites. But instead of testing them and giving your feedback, what you're doing is you are finding bugs on a website. So if you're ex extremely good at finding bugs on websites and you know actually you actually know what to look for, 
you can go to test.io and go to become a tester. So this is where uh, you know different companies will submit their websites to make sure that every little kink that could be improved has been found. And they have a community of people who find these issues with websites and then for each issue you find, you get paid usually up to $50. So this is one of those places where you have to get a certain result before you get paid, but it's it's another place where you can get paid some extra money to do something that's fairly you know, straightforward. But you work from anywhere, you can test wherever you are, they don't really care. Earn extra money, side hustle like your next big trip or your dream purchase depends on it. But you know, it's not something you wanna depend on for your bills on a monthly basis either. You can test the latest apps as well from leading companies and innovative startups and basically expand your mind and sharpen your skills. So all you have to do is register. They give you a link to do that. Basically after you're approved, get onboarded through the library of testing resources, start testing and earning, build testing credentials, and then become a great tester of course. So another one that's kind of like this, but more like user testing than anything else would be Userlytics. Userlytics.com is a place where you get paid to test websites as well, but this is a place where you normally would get paid to um, just give your feedback instead of finding a specific bug and getting paid by the bug. So if you go to get paid to test, you do need to be at least 16 years of age or older. So that is one way that they can get more people in the door is they accept people at a lower age. But if you're under 18, you may have to get your parent or legal guardian's permission. So basically, they tell you you can change the world one test at a time. You sign in and complete a profile so you don't have to worry about any kind of interviews or resumes. You receive invitations and complete the test. So you should receive invitations via email. And then you can get paid between $50 and $90 depending on the test. And you will receive your income via PayPal at the end of the week. So you get paid on a weekly basis via PayPal. Every test that you complete, it's kind of a flat fee per test is up to $90 or as little as $5. So it's a very easy way to get paid to test. Another nice thing I like about them is you can do it on many different devices, whether it's a computer, a tablet, a mobile phone, or something else. So if you're trying to get paid some extra money and you are okay with making up to $90 per task, you can do this at userlytics.com. And as far as the requirements here, very few um, requirements are like hard to meet. I would say most people can meet the requirements of these fairly easily. And if you wanna look at their app, you can see that they have a very highly rated app. It's not something that's just like, you know, very low rated and no one actually uses. It's actually a pretty solid app um, with 4.4 out of five stars and over 100,000 downloads on Android. They also have an Apple version, of course, as well. Last but not least is a really kind of out of left field way to make money, but this is a website that basically helps you get paid for donating to science and to research. So if you're okay with taking a trip maybe to a local uh, testing place, you're okay with that, then you can get paid for every stool sample that you submit. So it's $75 for each one. You can get paid up to $1,500 a month with Good Nature Program dot com so you're basically donating poop that's essentially what you're doing it sounds ridiculous but it's actually something that actually helps further science it helps further research towards understanding certain diseases and coming up with cures for them as well so they do have certain requirements here of course first you have to see if you're eligible and then you complete a phone screen then you have samples that you go and provide they'll have a donation center that's in your local area and then you become a daily donor and then you can get paid up to six days a week and get paid for your time again usually up to 1500 a month or are about 75 dollars per sample now there are a few things that you need to keep in mind here so from past research i've found that you do need to be a healthy individual who has regular bowel movements and are 18 to 50 years old. You're a normal weight, don't smoke and have no history of gastrointestinal disease or alcohol or drug abuse to donate. You must be available to donate three to four times a week at minimum, they say up to six days a week of course, and people cannot participate while pregnant, though they encourage them to keep us in mind for the future after you've had the baby of course. But this is just another kind of random website that you probably wouldn't know about otherwise where you can get paid um, you know, about $75 a pop for each 
thing that you um, you donate. And again, it's going towards a good cause, even though it sounds weird. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home and side hustle ideas like these. Don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or if you want something covered in the future. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and I'll try to make videos for the things that you actually want me to make videos on. And don't forget to click the like button if this actually did help you or if you got a few ideas from it. It tells me that maybe this was helpful and that maybe you would like me to cover this type of stuff similarly in the future. Outside of that, I'll see you in the next video.